some movement in the investigations into the Bodh Gaya serial blasts. Uh, four persons have been detained in Patna in connection uh, uh, with this terrorist strike. Uh, three men and one woman are believed to have been detained. Uh, uh, let's get in some more uh, details uh, from uh, Prema Devi, who's joining us on the phone line. Prema, what are you picking up? Well, uh, just a few minutes uh, back, I've got to know through my sources that four persons have been detained in Patna and this is in connection with the Bodh Gaya blast. In fact, uh, out of the four persons, there are three uh, men and one woman. In fact, uh, these people are being interrogated as we speak and the details that we are getting is that these people had visited the temple on the day of the blast. In fact, they have admitted that they were uh, there in the temple on the day of the blast and they had visited the temple at 3.30. Even the CCTV footage shows these uh, four people visiting the temple at 3.30. They visited the blast site at 3.30. Now they have accepted that they were there in the temple. And what we're also getting to know is that they had checked into a hotel uh, at around 4 o'clock uh, the very same day when the blast took place and they checked out of the hotel at 6.30 a.m. Now this is giving a, uh, this is giving rise to a lot of suspicion as to why did they check in at 4 o'clock and immediately check out at 6.30 a.m. Now, um, as we speak, these interrogations are going on of all the four people and the only information that they that we have as of now is that the persons have confirmed that they had visited the temple and uh, very soon we will get more details regarding the information whether or not they were involved in the crime that needs to be seen. Uh, Prema, from what uh, I'm picking up from you is uh, that the police has been led to these four people only on the basis of the CCTV footage that's been made available. Well, exactly. If you remember, there were these CCTV footages. The CCTV footages were being scanned. 15 uh, CCTV footages were being uh, analyzed. Video analysis was done. Uh, they had 48 hours of CCTV footages. Now, we are being told that when they had scanned these uh, video uh, images, they had found a couple of people, at least six people, who were moving about that place during that day uh, in a very suspicious manner. And now what we're getting to know is that out of those six people, four people have been caught and they have been detained. They have still not been arrested. They have only been detained. Their interrogation is going on and the, uh, the CCTV footage actually shows these four people walking into the blast site at around 3.30 a.m. that day. Remember the blast took place between 5.30 and uh, 5.58 a.m. On, uh, on that particular day. These people had visited the blast site at 3.30 a.m. Now when the officers asked these people why they had visited the temple at 3.30 a.m., they had uh, uh, apparently said that they, visit, they wanted to uh, have a darshan and that's why they had been there at 3.30. They admitted that they were there at 3.30. But the big question here is, why did they check into the hotel at uh, 4 o'clock and why did they check out immediately within two and a half hours at 6.30 they checked out of the hotel. So this, all this is giving, a, uh, giving rise to a lot of suspicion, but still it's too early to assess right. whether these people had any involvement in the crime. Prema, for the moment, thanks for joining us. We will come back to you for more details.